thanks to the magic of homemade home videos, we're going to jump forward a little bit here to give you the next phase. Next phase on this is I've actually taken and flipped the map upside down. So you can see there's all the print work there. There's the lines that have bled through from the Sharpie marker that I've got going. And what that's going to help me do is it's going to help me get the pieces exactly where they belong. On a portrait, it's incredibly important to get the person's features right where they belong or it becomes somebody else. So the next trick, and I learned this on a wonderful show a long time back, Simply Quilts. Thanks, Alex, wherever you are out there. Anyways, um, we're going to lay Teflon on top of this, and then we put our fusible applique pieces on top of the Teflon. That way we can press them together slightly. This face becomes like a fruit roll-up. We'll be able to peel it off and set it into her clothing in the background of the quilt later on. So follow along. Here we go. Here comes the Teflon. I've got an old sheet of Teflon here. Uh, you want to make sure there's no glue in the way, but you can see I can still see the imagery below hand. And then I'm going to take the pieces that belong where they go, and they're going to start to drop right into position like this. Now, I would normally have the paper peeled off the back, but I really don't have all the pieces cut out. I just wanted to show you this before I got too far ahead of myself. Take this piece right here. You see I can tell exactly where it's going to end up. Line that up just like I like it. This piece here is going to go in on top. Ah, quick edit on the fly. That piece I chose earlier was too dark and too textured for the job I needed. I'd cut a new piece, but I didn't put it in the box. There we go. That's going to work a lot better. See the difference in the contrast we can get from some of these shapes as they're going to go in. This is going to start to form her just right. A highlight for the chin. And then when that was all said and done, then I would go in there and I would blast it with the iron. I'm going to kick the lights off real quick so you can see better. Presto! How does that look on film? Ah, uh, just as weird. Well, you're hanging from a paper towel rack. We'll get back to you. I got some real work to do. I'm shutting the camera off for a bit. Okay, time to join back in. Here I come to say hello. Hello. Hopefully I'm on the camera. Anyways, sorry about the voice. It's been a long week. We're about four or five days into the project at this point. And this is the son. I just finished him. Here's the rest of the family sitting on the chair waiting to be inserted. Now, this is that technique I saw on Simply Quilts years ago. Applique sheet was on top of my tracing here. And then I pressed it down. And now I'm able to simply peel this up. But what I wanted to show you is just working nice and slowly. I'm going to put the tripod down for a second. Hold on, everyone. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Okay, there we go. You're on tripod mode now. Now, what we're doing is we're just peeling this away. I pre-peeled a little bit. I cheated Magic of Television. And then we're going to go for the next move here. I'm going to put you on hold for a sec. And finale, little brother. Drop him in. 